One of the coolest slash most useful slash most annoying inventions of the last few years is the drone. Sure, it takes great pictures, but sometimes it can be dangerous if a drone is flown where it's not supposed to be flown. Well, now there's one innovative device that can bring bad drones down to earth. Here's Adam Yamaguchi. As more people get easy access to unmanned aerial vehicles, commonly called drones, there are serious concerns about flying them into private or restricted airspace, such as over the White House, which is a bad idea. One company has figured out a way to keep drones out of restricted areas using technology to disable them in midair. Our jammer is actually a product that's used to defend against unwanted drones. An individual can take the drone out using the jammer by going out into the field, pointing it at the drone itself, and interrupting the signal between the pilot and the drone itself. I made my way to Warrington, Virginia to meet the development team at Drone Shield, a two-part system that starts with listening for drones. The first step is detection. How does that work? We look for very specific characteristics to, you know, sounds that the drone makes that don't sound like other things in that environment. We'll split the sound up into different frequencies and we'll look for telltale signatures of the drone. The system operates unattended, so it'd be totally automatic. Drone Shield uses sensitive microphones to monitor vulnerable areas. So here we have an array of four parabolic dishes. These are our long range sensors. Each one covers about 30 degrees. So these four will cover 120. And then you need three of those, like in a kind of a triangular configuration to look everywhere. So with this array, we're kind of looking out to the, into these fields here. Drone Shield's microphones can capture sounds from over half a mile away. And they've amassed a library of drone sound profiles to easily identify encroaching craft. The next element in Drone Shield's arsenal is this, the high-tech tool used to disable a drone. This is a serious looking device. What is this? So this is our jammer. Here we have antennas. So just directional antennas mounted on an M4 rail. Huh. So looks dangerous, but there's no actual projectile coming from the, from the end of it. Okay. Um, just the antennas are doing the hard work. Drones are piloted from a distance using radio frequency signals called RF or GPS coordinates or a combination of both. It's those control signals that Drone Shield is trying to confuse and jam. Once you've got the drone in your sight and you pull the trigger, how, how long do you have to stay on that drone to disable it? So it depends. Once we pull this trigger, it's actually going to countervail the action of the drone itself. It's going to interrupt the RF signal. So if we're just doing the RF signal, we're going to have to keep on as long as we want to make sure it gets that go home signal. But if we're jamming the GPS and the RF, it's going to go ahead and we're going to keep the sight picture as long as possible to get it out of the sky. We took the jammer outside for a little takedown demonstration. All right, so what you see here is we have a drone in our picture. We're going to activate the RF jamming capabilities, all right? When we come up, we're going to get that drone and put it in our sight picture. By that, I mean put it in the scope. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull that trigger. And once we pull the trigger, you'll see jamming oh, the wow. GPS and the RF. We're going to guide it right out of the sky. So that's you bringing it down. That is. So you just took control of the drone from whoever was controlling it out there. That's the game plan. Wow. <laughs> Drone Shield's technology is used to protect airports, critical infrastructure, and commercial venues, like stadiums. In the US, it's only available to federal government agencies. But Drone Shield is lobbying to make it available to state and local authorities in the future, in an effort to make all of us just a little bit safer.